Hi, I'm Lisa Bachman. I'm the clinical supervisor with Youth and Family Services of Union City. I'm a marriage and family therapist, and I oversee our counseling program and our case management program. Hello, my name is Sashil Swami. I am a case manager with the City of Union City Youth and Family Services. Um, I grew up here in Union City, and I now live in Hayward. Hi, my name is Kathleen Brown. I'm a senior program coordinator with the City of Fremont Youth and Family Services. I oversee the drug and alcohol program and the diversion program at Fremont PD, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Um, I definitely think there's some signs, and it's definitely different for every youth um, looking for years. Um, some of the key ones to look for is isolation. Um, isolation from peers or school, if, if they refuse to go to school, um, is, is a really a big key one that I look for. Um, erratic behaviors such as acting out, all of a sudden their behavior changes. Now they're angry or withdrawn. Um, these are some of the concerns that I would really look for. We know that in the past 16 months, we've seen a dramatic increase in anxiety, depression, and drug use. Um, I think one of the recent trainings that I went to, um, that there's been 114% behavior for teens. So if you're starting to see any type of isolation, meaning they're even in the room more, which is yes, but if they're in the room more, they're not doing their homework. Um, they've stopped using their social media. They all of a sudden are more irritable or more withdrawn. Definitely talk to them. If they don't want to talk to you, find somebody else who they'll talk to. Um, a lot of times kids don't want to talk to their mom or dad, and that's fine. Is there a family member that they can connect to? You know, if they're connected to an aunt or an uncle, um, but please make it a um, not their, you know, or you can even check in with their best friend if they have one. Um, check their social media sites because they put stuff on their social media sites. But do they have a, an aunt or an uncle or an adult peer that they would talk to that? What's cool. But find someone that they'll talk to. You. But just check their behaviors if they're withdrawn or acting out. It's just from your child which way their behaviors are going to go to find out who they'll talk to or connect to um, to get them the support that they need. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, we've had all of this time at home with our kids. And so we know our kids maybe better than we have at, at any other time <laughs> in their lives. And so just being aware of, of those changes, like Kathleen saying, if, um, you know, if they're showing signs of anxiety or depression, yeah, uh, being very fearful about being, um, you know, going to school or, or, or um, you know, isolating, being in their rooms. Um, not wanting to, to come out for, you know, and, and socialize with youth and family, definitely wanting to, you know, to check in with them about that. How are they feeling? Um, you know, as, as things open up, as they get back to school, check, like, um, you know, um, every day after school, like, hey, how's it going? And, and just checking in with them. Um, and then I, you know, and then as they go back to school, just just being aware, you know, checking their grades and making sure that, you know, how they're how they're doing at school is consistent with what, you know, what they, um, how, you know, how they've performed in the past, and if you know if there's some, um, you know, some fluctuation in the grades, I think it, you know, would be a good idea to like check in with the school and the teachers and see, um, you know, what kind of um, support that they can get at school as well. Yeah, I agree. Just, you know, one of the things to look out for is the increase, you know, like the isolation that Kathleen mentioned, irritability, anxiety, um, obsessive behaviors, um, outbursts, if there's any, you know, sometimes um, kids will act in ways, you know, that, that when they get home, you know, act it out, whatever their frustrations are. So those are some of the things to look out for, um, you know, excessive hand washing, things like that, anxiety related to the pandemic. Um, the things that we've kind of taught them over the time that they've been out of, of school and at home, um, just some of those things like excessive behaviors and things to look out for. Um, isolation is key though, because um, you know they're going to school with all these um, new people, new faces, and learning how to deal with things all over.